Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome back to an episode of uh, Lost in Tokyo. Uh, we're doing something a little bit different today, and that is uh, the underground tunnels of Shinjuku Station. Uh, of course, Shinjuku Station is the world's busiest uh, station, and it is one of the most confusing at the same time. Now, I am standing in the east exit uh, of the station area, and uh, as I just kind of walk a little bit here before I uh, turn the camera around and say hello to everybody, um, this is going to be an extensive tour of uh, all the underground tunnels and all the things that you can do. Shinjuku Station itself is actually a tourist spot. You can do a lot of stuff here and uh, it's pretty awesome. So uh, yeah, uh, good morning everybody. Uh, thank you for joining. Um, today the idea is to show you around Shinjuku Station. Um, it is the world's busiest station. It is the craziest station here in uh, the Tokyo area. So many underground tunnels. It's about three kilometers worth of uh, underground tunnels. There's over 200 entrance exits uh, in this area for this station alone. It, it gets absolutely insane, but uh, we are here and we are gonna show you so that if you ever do come to uh, Tokyo uh, and you come into the Shinjuku uh, station area, hopefully you can refer to this video and not get too lost. Of course, uh, Shinjuku Station uh, houses the JR line, of course, the Odaku line, the, the KO line, and uh, the Marunouchi line, which is a subway, the Oedo line, which is a subway. So there are a lot of train stations uh, or train lines uh, coming in and out of Shinjuku. So hopefully you'll, you'll uh, enjoy this. Uh, good morning to Mike Hawk. Uh, Cousin Vinny, Mikey in Vegas, John McKees, World Tetris, Ian Feng, how are you? Dave Jeffrey, Michelle Tai, how are you? Uh, Gail Expressos, Bayou Otaku, Colonel K, how are you? Long time. My camera is a little bit off. I'm going to have to check that out. Jason in Michigan, how are you? Jason M, hey mom, how are you? Uh, I think I've hit everybody. So again, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, at Tokyo Drew, and hopefully I can address those uh, for you. But um yeah I, my counter says nobody's in the chat <laughs> that's kind of weird um but yeah let's get going right away guys because we have a lot to explore nick r how are you brother thank you for being able to join um let me just level out my camera a little bit i think i went the wrong way there and uh, let's get going and showing you shinjuku station i know a few people that have come here and have been very confused uh walking around uh, Shinjuku Station. So hopefully this will help you out a little bit. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of the east side. We're going to go to the west side. We're going to go to the south side. Well, not the south side. Um, and then we're going to be hitting a special area that I just found actually uh, about a month ago. And that'll take you over to the Seibu Shinjuku Station area. Thank you, Mikey in Vegas. I appreciate that. My first super chat. Spider Fresh, yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and not Tokyo Drew? Mm, you're dead to me. I'm joking. How are you, buddy? So uh, yeah, let's, uh, and uh, of course, this here is uh, the Central East uh, Gate. It's a very small little area. And as you see, oh, they got the Barbie sign up there. Um, all these tunnels lead into different uh, malls, Lumine, Alta, uh, Odaku, Shopping Mall, so on and so forth. So I'll, I'll go as slow as I can. Hey, El Sonata Rake, how are you? Ramsey Silent in the house. Unstable Freak, how are you? Uh, this has been a highly requested live stream. Um, not sure why, but uh, a lot of you have uh, actually said, let's do the underground tunnels. I wanted to go to Yokohama today, but due to the typhoon coming, I don't want to get trapped in Yokohama. So um, the JR lines are right over here. Um, for all the Patreon members, uh, if you saw uh, when I freaked out uh, the boys, that was right in this area right here. Uh, this is the east exit. Uh, that'll take you over to Kabukicho, which is one of the high uh, end, the higher used uh, exits. As we come along here on the east side, you got the Luminae department store, so on and so forth. But up those stairs would be Kabukicho. I'll just come down here a little bit to show you. And we're going to be going down a lot of tunnels. Um, it is absolutely insane. I'm going to bring up a map here just to show you how insane uh, 
<coughs> Shinjuku Station can be. Now this here, of course, is, uh, you can see the green things, the, the KO New Line, the KO Line. They got the Oedo Line off to the left there. All the JR, the Marinucci Line. It does get confusing. And we're gonna be walking in the underground of all these places um, right now. A little bit better of a map maybe to show you kind of the uh, south side, the north side, the east side and uh, the west side. So <laughs> I'm in Yokohama starting to pour early typhoon. Yeah, I bet. Daniel Panic, how are you? Thank you for being here. It is, it, it is a crazy maze and hopefully this video will help you guys uh, search around different areas, so on and so forth. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this part here because there's not much here. There's just mostly exits going out. And of course you do have uh, the Lumine shopping department store. Now some places are not open, of course, but that's still going out to Kabukicho. And then when you come down into this area here, besides going down to the train stations, you have this pretty cool food pocket area. Uh, it's got a coffee shop. I think I've shown you guys this before, actually. Um, about two or three different little restaurants along the way here. And that is uh, pretty cool, actually. Oh, I forgot to smash my own like button. So let's smash that like button, everybody. I got two likes? No, I, I gotta refresh my, my live stream here. All right, let's refresh. And uh, we got 24 likes. Awesome, guys, thank you so much. Appreciate it. So yeah, you got these, uh, this little cafe here, it's called Berg, not Eric Berg. <laughs> and it just leads into, now this tunnel, um, you can see all the shopping over there. This tunnel here, we will actually be passing by down on the other side later on. So I'm gonna take you over to the JR line. Now there are so many exits, the south exit, west exit, east exit, but mostly when you, when you come here, you will be coming out of the central uh, exit, whether it's the east or the west, you'll see it's kind of in the same area here. Um, they have remodeled Shinjuku Station and uh, they have this long walkway, which they never used to have. It used to be all part of the, the paid uh, area here. Hey, Rama Pharmacist, how are you? you? Got 30 likes already? Awesome. Hey, CE, how are you? So this here, <coughs> right in here is the east gate, uh, the central east gate of uh, the JR lines here. And you have your ticket machines over there. And uh, hey, Jeremy, how are you? And uh, yes, Jeremy, I'm wearing my Iowa shirt, one of my favorite shirts, like I've said, and uh, always pretty cool. They always have advertisements on this thing, so it does create a cool ambiance. Um, you do have a ticket office over here. This is all the JR area. Michael Oakley, how are you? Wheelback46, good morning. You can see all these crazy ass, uh, this is a Wi-Fi commercial of some sort. But you get the idea of this big long walkway area that they've opened up here. Now there are so many restaurants inside here, so much shopping, hence why it is its own tourist area. You know, being the busiest uh, <coughs> train station in the world, uh, and having one of the most confusing areas uh, of all the underground tunnels and connections. Hopefully this uh, video will do you some good. This here is the west exit or the west gate. So the east and west are very close to each other. And uh, you got about uh, eight different train lines inside there. So it is uh, a bit confusing, but it's gonna get more confusing ladies and gentlemen as we're gonna keep walking. We have a lot of tunnels to uh, check out and uh, hopefully show you some pretty cool uh, places to eat, uh, places to shop, and just general connections. Because connections can be a problem. You'll think, oh, I gotta connect to this train, but you actually have to walk out and then walk through all these tunnels just to get to the next train. So we're gonna take a left up here, uh, first off. And uh, this will take you down into the Odaku line. The Odaku line is a uh, train line that takes you into the Kanagawa uh, area. Once it leaves Shinjuku, it goes over to like Shimokitazawa, 
places like that. You do have to be careful of all the signs. So you got the Shinjuku line here, you got the new Keio line. You can see all these things. They got arrows pointing this way, they got the Odaku pointing this way. Unfortunately, there is a lot of construction going on. So uh, there used to be a 7-Eleven right behind me and now they've moved it up over here, as you can see here. And you can see by all the people how crazy ass busy this really is. Hey, Laurie Leonard, how are you? Yes, Bayou would know a lot about uh, this area. So get the 7-Eleven off to... Uh... Now due to the typhoon coming, ladies and gentlemen, uh, is the reason why I didn't go to Yokohama. And uh, yeah, it's gonna get crazy ass. So you can see again, this is the central west gate. Uh, so it would be a lot easier to transfer to the Odaku line if you needed to transfer. But again, the actual ticket gate exit is not that big. You can see it's uh, kind of small compared to the main central uh, west exit, but this might be an exit you might want to uh, come out if you have to transfer to the Odaku line. So thank you, mom, for gifting the emojis. I really appreciate that. Uh, when you come out of the Odaku line, you can see all these signs here. It can get very, very confusing. Shinjuku line, Oedo line, Marinucci line, Keio line. <coughs> this here, of course, is the uh, Odaku uh, line entrance. If you have to go down in towards the uh, Kanagawa area, even to Shimokitazawa, um, they are going to have, you know, their ticket machines and stuff, but they're also going to have every station, uh, everywhere, every line, I mean, has their own little store areas. So again, you have like your trains shop right in there. You can buy all your uh, gifts. Look at this. This is an onigiri shop. They specialize in onigiri, of course. Uh, a lot of people do buy onigiri uh, to travel on the trains, have their breakfast, so on and so forth. But you can sit inside and uh, enjoy. This is where you're going to buy your uh, romance car tickets, Limited Express, uh, your commuter passes and things like that for the Odaku line itself. As you can see, tons of people are uh, walking around the station here. Now, I do know Shinjuku Station pretty well. I still get lost every once in a while, especially if I'm in uh, an underground tunnel I don't, uh, I've never been. Don't forget, there is over 200 entrances or exits um, in this area. And now we are, we're on basically the west side of uh, Shinjuku Station. Now you can see here, this is the new, the KO New Line Concourse here, KO Line. We're going to walk down there, of course. And I'm just going to come out to the outside here for a second. And show you a familiar uh, spot, of course. Hi, Elise in Alabama. How are you? <coughs> We're going to go down there in a second and come back up this way, but... This is basically the west side. You'll recognize probably some of the buildings from underneath here. So again, that's the Mod Hall Eco uh, building, very famous in Shinjuku here. Just for the architecture alone, you have the Odaku building right in here. We're actually gonna be underneath that uh, in about 10 minutes or so. So you can see how everything is connected. Now. I'm not going to be going down one spot here, but as you are walking down this way here, you can actually walk. See that big building right there? You can walk all the way to the underground and get into the, all the business areas, but it's just a, an underground a walkway, so it's nothing uh, really fancy or spectacular itself. I want to say thank you to the moderators that are here. I really appreciate you being here and helping out Welcoming everybody. Hey, Debbie McKee, how are you? Adam Mack, good morning. <coughs> so this here 
is uh, the KO line, not to be confused with other uh, train, the, the JR Shinjuku line here. And this, of course, will take you different places around Tokyo and Kanagawa also. This is the, this is the train line that will take you basically southwest Tokyo. It's not too far. Um, I don't know if they have, a, I'm pretty sure they have a, a transfer point for the JR inside, maybe on the other side or something. But again, it can get a get, bit confusing. Uh, you can see the, uh, the board up here where they have uh, only three, tr three or four tracks, but they all have uh, different times, different locations of where they're going. So just did it, smash the Drew needs some coffee mods building because we, we rule. Thank you, uh, Ramsey Sun, I really appreciate that. And you can see here, this is still the exit. Now inside there are other exits to other parts of the station. We're going to take you through this uh, shopping concourse area here. <coughs> oh, it's vending machine. But I need coffee, but I don't see my coffee. Now the one thing I will say, vending machines in stations are pretty pricey. That premium boss there in the yellow sign is 160 yen. I can get that for 110, 120, 130 outside. But again, convenience, right? is what it is so hey travel log pick how are you coming down into this area here this is the adaku ace south area and this is a very interesting kind of cool area hopefully some of the places are open <coughs> again checking out all these places is seriously you can get lost for everything I actually have never seen this store. I've walked past here, but it looks like they got ice creams to knickknacks to souvenirs to tea. It's more like a green tea uh, shop here, which is kind of interesting. You do have a lot of empty hallway space uh, down in here. But let's take a walk down here and see what it's like. I'll walk down the left and then I'll walk up back up the right side here. Oh, that is a green tea shop. Looks like uh, kind of like a sembe store here, which is pretty cool. You're gonna have your Lotteria, of course. And just different restaurants, uh, you know, that you can stop and uh, check out. Like, doesn't that look good, guys? Look at that, curry katsu with uh, some soba noodles and Oh, yum. But again, you know, we are not in the JR. We're still on the west side, but now we're basically heading east. But you can't really connect to different places. You've got a family more off to the left side. And every which way you turn, you will see different uh, passageways, different connections. the JR line that way. That's just going to take you over to the electronics store, which is a building above ground. They do have uh, entrances um, through all these little areas and stuff. All these pathways, underground tunnels, so on and so forth. And this is just the beginning, ladies and gentlemen. We have a lot more to show you, so make sure you got your popcorn your whiskey ramen noodles hello everyone hello how are you i don't recognize you thank you for joining so again if you want quick bites to eat you can uh this is quick energy charge or something whatever it's called here so a lot of people before they catch the train can come in grab a quick bite to eat looks like some kaisen don style places here which is pretty cool Hi, Mission, how are you? Brittany Blanchard, hi. We have a lottery booth over there. It's not open yet, though. <coughs> so again, as we are walking around, hopefully this video, this live stream will help you. Um, I will put chapters uh, post-edit uh, in the description below. <coughs> 
So if you ever do come to Tokyo and you want to refer to this live stream on how to get to different places, different exits, it should help. You do have information. This is the Hot Pepper Beauty uh, and, the, and the Town Work magazines. Uh, Hot Pepper has a lot of different deals. Uh, you can get 10% off things, so on and so forth. A lot of these places are closed. There's a recycle shop. You got Rope Picnic, which is a popular store with the girls. <coughs> And then we're coming down into, again, the uh, area of a train line here, of course. We got 80, is Cobra out here? My evil twin, welcome, long time, how are you? Question here for beginning. Can you get lost very easy if you don't know what you are doing here? Yes, absolutely. I've been lost a billion times. All right, we got coffee time here, ladies and gentlemen. I see my, one of my favorite coffees, not my absolute favorite. But again, you'll see the prices here, uh, 170 yen. I can get go to the convenience store, get that for like 139 yen, but it is a vending machine. It is convenient in the... Uh, and believe it or not, even though I am inside, the humidity inside here is absolutely insane. I am sweating my ass off just being inside. Grab your changes always. Grab your coffee. And you can see they have the air con going, but they also got the extra fans going, so on and so forth. Again, as you're walking out here, this is the South Concourse, so you can have access to the Odaku line, the JR lines. There's the Lumine building again. So we're kind of Southeast area here. And uh, yeah, let's throw the camera up on this ledge right here and have a little bit of coffee. And, uh, say thank you all for joining. Uh, this is something, you know, it was highly requested, like I said at the beginning of the video, and uh, I find it uh, kind of interesting to uh, be walking around, because I have never walked around Shinjuku Station on a live stream with everybody watching me. So, cheers to everybody. Thank you all for your Super... It's not Super Chat Saturday, it's Super Chat Sunday. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. And, of course, please smash that like button while you are here. Now, of course, my replay is not showing up how many people are in the chat, but uh, that's okay. For those of you that are here, thank you so much for making this community what it is. Awesome. Okay. Uh, I do have my umbrella today. Got to have my umbrella. It's uh, very important just in case, because we will be going outside at some point. Uh, to check out stuff. Oh, thank you, uh, Nick R. Appreciate it. Go on, spoil yourself, splash for a coffee. Thank you, Nick. I'm glad that you're here. Oh, thank you, Mom. Please take care of the typhoon coming, son. And here's a little something for food and drink. I appreciate that, Mom. I'll be calling you after. Um, uh, I will be meeting, I, I hope. I gotta, I gotta send messages, but uh, do you know Andy Stubbs? Uh, you probably see him in the chat. He's in Tokyo right now. And uh, so desne. Um, is actually in uh, Tokyo. They're both in the Weno area, so I might be going over to meet them if I have time later on today before the typhoon comes. But uh, if you've seen in the chat, So Desne, uh, they are a husband and wife couple that I have met previously, very lovely people. And of course, Andy Stubbs, one of my longest running subscribers. Um, we found each other through the uh, the Thailand vloggers. So let's get going, guys. Got lots to show you. Nice ledge. It was perfect height. So I got to make sure that we are even. So, yeah, this here is the new KO Line concourse area. <coughs> Again, you'll see signs up here. You got the uh, Oedo line, the Marinucci line saying go back the same way you came. And uh, this is the entrance, again, for the, the KO line, but mostly. Uh, for the Shinjuku line, which is a subway uh, running through uh, Tokyo. And uh, this is the only entrance for this area, which is crazy. Oh, thank you, El Sonata Rake. Did we hit 50 likes, people? If we did, that's awesome. Thank you so much. I don't even know how long we've been live streaming. Killer Hardtop, how are you? Mike Hunt was gifted. Soa, uh, Mark Maris, thank you so much. I appreciate that. So yeah, this here uh, will take you to the new Kale line. 
but also the Shinjuku line. You can see the sign there. And they actually do have an entrance to the Oedo line. Now, the Oedo line can be very confusing. I'm going to show you a different entrance that I use, actually. This will take you to a different part of the Oedo line. If you are just looking to uh, basically go um, through Tokyo, I'll show you the exit or the entrance to go through there. So, But yeah, let's go back up uh, the KO Mall here. Appreciate the support, everybody. I really do. Now, uh, for my Patreon members, um, postcards and letters will be sent out and boxes, of course. But they'll be probably sent out on the 16th, a uh, day late, uh, due to Oban. Um, this time, uh, I'm just talking to my Patreon members real quickly here. Um, I've made a community letter, not personalized letters, uh, just because I'm giving everybody a postcard. So it's a lot of envelopes to write, a lot of letters to type. Um, but yeah, I just uh, hopefully you enjoy, uh, well, you understand my letter and uh, everything that is. Uh, said in the letter again more parking areas parking is very expensive here uh, in Shinjuku station so find cheaper parking of course got any tips for navigating Shinjuku station <coughs> Daniel this is my tip right here during this live stream there is really nothing else besides walking around exploring all these hallways and hopefully uh, during this live stream I can show you different connections and how to get to different trains and things like that. It is absolutely insane um, down here. So I would say don't get frustrated, number one. Um, research. It's, it's, uh, I know it's hard to say because, you know, a sign, might, a sign might say go this way, but in actuality, it means turn around and go the other way. Oh, the lottery booth is open, but... I think we'll try to hit another one if I can remember. Looks like they just opened. So hopefully some of that will help. Steve O, how are you? Every time I see the Steve O name, I think of uh, that guy from Jackass. No disrespect. I think his name was Steve O, wasn't it, or something? Look at this, Udon. This is Tsurukoshi Udon. Again, like Marugame uh, Udon. All these great little uh, places to eat. You know, we even have a Yoshinoya here, which is pretty big actually. Everybody's getting their no Yoshinoya on. That's kind of funny to see uh, everybody just sitting in all those things. Yes, we still have the, uh, the um, dividers between all the seats. Not here, but Yoshinoya seems to still have it. And again, you got the airport bus for Hanada to the left. You got uh, Shinjuku KO line going that way. You got the Odaku that way. You got the KO line and JR lines going that way and department stores. And again, as I turn around, those are uh, the electronics store here. I'm not sure if this is Yodabashi camera or Bit camera. It's one of them. Is Chisato here? Hi, Chisato! I think that's Chisato that I know, maybe not. Is that my coworker? Or? But again, it is so hot and humid. Boom, you're gonna see all kinds of uh, different exits. A, a stairway there, a stairway here. Where they lead to, I don't even want to know. But again, they don't have escalators. You gotta research to find out where all your escalators and elevators are. Uh, if you are uh, physically challenged. Oh. So again, that is going down to the Keio line and the Shinjuku line. We're gonna take you over now into the uh, Oedo line uh, area, one of the subways, and uh, into the Marinucci line area. Again, as I turn around, or just keep going in different uh, areas. Lots of flower shops, lots of different alleyways. Never been down here, so let's go explore. Eyeglass shops down here. Wow, there are a lot of flower stores. Back, oh, is that the same flower store? I'm not sure. Chisato, yes I am. <laughs> 
Yes, I am. Ladies and gentlemen, hi Chisato. <laughs> Again, you got Cafe Miami, very popular. Now it looks like there's gonna be something and all of a sudden, boom, it's dead tunnels. But we can go down this way. Hopefully the reception, hey Ran Ranjit, how are you? I'm gonna take you down in this way. We actually came walking down that way, so we're just gonna kind of walk around. This is an open space area. Um, they used to have an art gallery in here, and now it looks like a, some sort of a pop-up bag store and whatever it is. Nothing special, really. Might as well walk in and see what's going on. Looks like a, uh, yeah. Not much, looks kind of weird actually. But the reason I'm coming this way, with 30 minutes in, you have 57 likes. Awesome, thank you, Andrew Lubar. <coughs> so this is the tunnel area that I told you I wasn't gonna walk down, but I'm gonna show it to you. So this is going all the way down to the Metro government uh, buildings, where you can get your free observation. And going down here, it's right beside a roadway so on and so forth. Hopefully I can give you an idea of what this looks like down here. And this probably goes for, honestly, I don't know exactly, probably a kilometer, 800 meters. But I'm gonna zoom, I'm gonna stand on the, on the side of the wall here. And to give you an idea, as you're walking down, there are exits going all the way down. Each one of these signs, as you can see, are to different places uh, along the road that is above us. So you can see how long that is, right? People, uh, I don't know why people, oh, because there's a walk, an escalator walkway. That's why everybody's going that way. Uh, just as I pan up here, you can see the sign there. Uh, Tokyo Metro Government Office, Shinjuku Chuo Park, you know, so on and so forth. It does get crazy. Princess says hi. Hi, Roxy. Hi, Una Marie. Hi, Jason Mante family. Again, this is the Metro underpass area. You got the Marinucci line there. You got the JR Odaku Keio. You got the bus station area. You got the Shinjuku line over there. The Waito line again. It, it's so crazy ass. Now, of course, we are kind of outside. Oh my God, it's raining already. Damn. I, see, this is why we didn't go to Yokohama, ladies and gentlemen. It was hot and sunny this morning, and boom. The start of the typhoon is coming. Here we go. This sucks. <laughs> <coughs> That is the Odaku uh, building. We're actually gonna be going into the bottom of that through all these tunnels and stuff. So that sucks, guys. Oh. David Forrester, how are you? Thank you for being here. Mum's mum says hi. Hi, mum's mum. Now I will give you guys reference points. Oh, so this here is a pop-up shop, prefectural pop-up shop it looks like so they've used the space here and I'm not talking the bags and all that but just this uh, little area right here so pretty cool again this is uh, that shopping kind of style area where we first walk down and as you come back out into this area uh, we are still on the west side Instead of going up this way here, that'll take you back over to the JR uh, line area. We'll get back there in a minute. I'm gonna take you uh, over here. As you can see, these are basically all underground tunnels along the way here. Oh, I'm gutted, people.
thank you. Uh, hi, Tyra, how are you? We're still in the west side. Different connections, of course, but also different shops. And a lot of these places will lead to underground uh, entrances to a lot of buildings that are above ground. It's absolutely insane. So again, the JR lines and the Adaku line will be back in that way. And we're just coming over into this area here. You even have a Koban, a police station or kiosk down here. You actually have three of them, uh, east, west, and south. The only place I'm not taking you today is the south entrance uh, because you actually have to walk along the, uh, the train lines and stuff. But this here can get a little bit confusing. Again, we're still basically walking around this whole semi-circle uh, area. We were basically over in that area there. The Odaku department store is kind of over that way. And we just basically walked around here with the JR being over into uh, that area. This is still the Odaku uh, shopping area. But I have a great surprise for you guys later on. It's going to be awesome. Dr. Dutch, how are you? Thank you for being here. <laughs> you were just getting some stories. Well, it's the start of the typhoon coming. Again. Those underground tunnels walking over the government buildings would be down in that area, another different entrance there. And boom, you got the uh, Godiva or Godiva store. Always amazing, it's expensive, but damn, I would love one of those uh, chocolate shakes there. That's for damn sure. Then you have the Shinjuku Delish Park area. We'll take a walk inside here. Again, there are so many uh, little uh, stores, restaurants, this place isn't that busy, but oh damn. A rice burger. That's shrimp. It looks like pork or something, not sure. Not really looking at it. Boiled red snapper, cod, shrimp, so on and so forth. Interesting. During which period in summer is there the least amount of rainfall? Um, usually right now, unless there's a typhoon coming. got a soup stand here. I've never seen that before actually. <coughs> and again, look at all these hidden places. It's a very small little area, but you got a nice little bakery, you got a little organic store. I never knew Krispy Kreme was there. Damn, and a Starbucks. We've got a Starbucks back here, which I have never seen, so. Pompadour, one of the more expensive uh, bakery areas here. Of course, this is just a takeout uh, Starbucks. I actually had this the other day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the watermelon gabbari. A watermelon frappuccino, pieces of uh, kiwi in the bottom with whipped cream. It was 700 yen or something like that. It was freaking delicious, people. It was so refreshing on a hot summer's day. This is the lemon store. A bunch of uh, dessert stores uh, in here. Of course, lemon is pretty awesome. Hey, Kumal, how are you? Watermelon. Lots and lots of watermelon stores. What do they got going on? Bubbles, so on, bubble teas and things like that. And again, we are just in the underground area. Now there are more uh, areas that are closed, and that'll take you down the Marinucci line. I'm gonna take you a different way, though. This is an older style coffee shop. This is Cafe Rally. That's a bit expensive for breakfast sets. Usually you can get them a lot cheaper, but uh, we are inside Shinjuku Station, of course. How many of you are confused right now? Hey, Laith, how are you? Again, there is another hallway just off to the side there. So now I'm gonna take you uh, 
to see how you can get the Oedo line, uh, which runs basically uh, from West uh, Shinjuku area all the way in a kind of like a circle, like the Yamanote line, but uh, not really the Yamanote line because uh, it does hit different areas and stuff. And again, this is all the underground tunnels and stuff. <laughs> and we're going to come down into uh, this area in here. <coughs> You really have to know where you're going uh, when you're transferring. So many little nooks and crannies uh, along the way. We are going to go that way later on, but first off, we're going to walk uh, through here. Now, I actually walked this way to uh, go home, but about 10 minutes ago, I said we were going to come into a uh, Odaku uh, kind of store area and uh, we're gonna go down here in a minute but right over here is another entrance into the Odaku uh, department store um, via all these underground tunnels now of course this is uh, taking you into the basement area um, this is like a little honey kiosk it's been around for a while uh, they got Dongo so these two kiosks have been here for a while. And then this will just take you into the basement. Uh, basement shopping is always awesome. Great food, uh, so on and so forth. And uh, I'm not gonna go inside, but they have an amazing wine store in there for uh, Hiromi. They got the Kaldi uh, International Store. They got a lot of uh, great basement department food shopping. <laughs> if you guys can see uh, inside there, just a little bit, you can see all these uh, separate little uh, places all the way around. And in the back, they actually have a grocery store. So it is a good thing. Upstairs, they actually have like a department store. Uh, they got big camera. Um, it is a pretty good uh, little department store area. You can go to the outside via here, but as we come back here, I'm going to show you something really creepy today. You know, I always look around before I, I point my finger. Now we're going into the bowels of uh, Shinjuku Station, but this is actually taking you into uh, Shinjuku Nishiguchi Station. So again, as you come down here, this is the Oedo line. Um, we are now leaving Shinjuku Station, but it's all attached. So it is Shinjuku Nishiguchi Station. And uh, you can see as we we're going down escalator upon escalator. I always get lost on these tours. Oh, I bet you do. Yes, the mazes are absolutely endless. <laughs> So this is the train I take to get home. But again, as you can see, there's so many long pathways going this way, going that way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be coming back up these escalators in one sec here, because I'm just basically showing you how deep the escalators get uh, here. This is one of the deepest uh, subways, or the deepest subway uh, to get this uh, will take you to just the west side of Tokyo, of course, um, but also it'll take you to Higashi Shinjuku, it'll take you to Kasuga, it'll take you to Itabashi, all the, all the places, like if Shinjuku's where my finger's pointing, it'll basically kind of goes this way, loops around, kind of like the Yamanote line. Mr. Stu, like number 65, thank you. Now I'm not gonna go all the way down here, but again, you'll see different exits where those escalators are going up there. This here is uh, basically Shinjuku Nishiguchi Station, uh, and this is the Oedo line. If you were to go out, there's an exit just on the other side where all these people are. This is the uh, ticket gate here. Basically, you can go to a different part of Shinjuku when you go out the other exit on the other side. But again, you know, you're going to have your Family Mart convenience stores. 
get your drinks, you know, so on and uh, so forth. I remember in May um, of this year, I was actually standing right here talking to uh, United Airlines because I was uh, going to Vegas back then and trying to get a better ticket and so on and so forth. So I spent a lot of time down here. <laughs> Again, as you come into here, you will have your uh, ticket gates, your ticket booths to get stuff, information if you need it. <clears throat> and to get to the Oedo line, there's more escalators going down. So it is a bit uh, deeper of a uh, subway. But again, you know, you can connect without going outside. Uh, you could walk outside and, and come to this uh, station. There are a few different exits. We've seen two exits already. So hopefully uh, that'll give you a bit of an idea because you can't stick to just JR lines when you are uh, traveling around Tokyo. You have to take a lot of different subways, uh, Odaku line, KO line. There's all kinds of different things. So. Michael Oakley, how are you? Are there apartments? No. This is a super cool to see all this. What an underground city. Hi, hi B. Rebecca, how are you? Sorry, I didn't see you that. If they put apartments down here, that would be pretty... Actually, you know what? It would be kind of cool, right? Dr. Link, how are you? From Mexico, of course. Nice to see you come back. Now, you have the Tourist Information Center. It's, it's in a weird spot, but again, I think some of my Patreon members will remember this uh, information robot creepiness guy here. And, uh, yeah. How creepy is that, ladies and gentlemen? Isn't that creepy? I don't know. Yeah, they do have English. That is creepy. So you come here. You can actually press English. So let's find uh, tourist information. Um, well, I see Tokyo Dome. So let's, and they'll give you a map of different things like that. So. Back to the top here, uh, ticket information. So you got Toei One Day Pass, you got Tokyo Combination, Tokyo Starter Kick, Greater Tokyo. So there's a lot of information here. Station facilities, there you go. Look at that. So you got the Oedo line, the JR lines, you got all kinds of different things. And we are here in reference to this map here. So again, it's pretty cool. Hopefully, uh, You'll use this. Wheelchair access is quite important. You are creepy. Too bad you didn't have Siri on you. I do like how they're dressed up like a train attendant, so that's pretty cool. So, yeah, I just want to show you that real quickly. It is so hot and humid down here, ladies and gentlemen. I got to get back upstairs. Again, you even have Uniqlo. This is, uh, of course, Shinjuku Nishiguchi. Uh, you're going to have department stores down in this area here. It's absolutely insane. And once you come into here, there's going to I see sushi roll. I see all kinds of different things uh, down in here. And this is the, the entrance into here. I'm going to see if there's any air con so I can feel a little bit better here. Not sure what's in here. I've never come down here, to be quite honest. Let's see if we can cut through. Oh, maybe we can. Looks like everything is closed down here today. Comments on increase of JR Rail Pass and in on that whatsoever. So it doesn't seem to be anything down here. It looks like you got to take the elevator up to uh, go. Um, the Suica cards. I just heard that uh, getting the materials for the actual chip or something has been difficult. I have no idea. <laughs> and I think they're trying to push. 
uh, using your, your mobile, like I use a mobile Suica, so it doesn't really affect me, but I know for a lot of travelers, um, but that's Suica. You can probably still get a Passmo, which is part of the Tobu company. Um, they probably still sell passes and they are accepted just like a Suica card. So again, you could use them for any JR line, you know, so on and so forth. So um, yeah, honestly, I don't understand why. Uh, the JR Rail Pass, I guess, I guess in my opinion, if the price is going up, everywhere is going up, I guess. That's not really a good excuse, but I'm sticking to it. All right, we're going to, uh, now we're coming out of the subway. We are still on the west side. We're kind of heading over into the east area side. Again, you get the Seibu Shinjuku Square to the left. But as we go along here, you can see there's a lot of walls. That was over into the department store there. And then this takes you to straight to the uh, Marunouchi line, which is another subway, uh, part of the Tokyo Metro. Uh, and this kind of goes uh, all over Tokyo also. The JR lines and the main Shinjuku station is up that way where we came down from. But today I'm gonna take you into a different area and show you just how long these uh, pathways or hallways are as we uh, venture into this area down here. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, Jackie Hiro, how are you? So this can take you into the Kabukicho area, Shinjuku Sanchome areas. You will have your advertisements on both sides of uh, the hallways. Oh, look at that. All right, guys, in the comments, what, what, what is that? Let me know. Starts with an R. Bedtime, early rise and morning. Thank you, Tetrazine, for being here. Appreciate it. Again, you have crazy ass Japanese uh, advertisements and they try to do their best. A lot of Disney, a lot of Japanese uh, posters. And this is really a, just an empty hallway walking around. I drunk tested and accident worked. Oh, good for you. Hey, Motonome, how are you? John Moran, is it possible to walk the entire length of Tokyo completely underground? No. That would be something amazingly cool. I wish I could find out though. That would be cool. So again, as you're coming down here, this is the to one of the Tokyo Metro offices here. I believe, is this the lost and found? Oh no, just an information area here. Um, this is the Tokyo Metro, you can get your passes, so on and so forth. And as you're walking along here, you can see, again, more, this is the South Concourse area, Lumine, as we're walking along here. So many underground areas here, people. We've got the Lawson right in front of us. This will take you over into, uh, this is on the east side upstairs. This will be the Alta building on uh, exit B13. I'll just kind of walk down here for a second. Hey Midwest, how are you? <coughs> she sat there saying, it's creepy! That's why we are doing an extensive walking tour of uh, this whole area. Now just around the corner here, I believe are, is an exit where you can go upstairs, exit B13 of course. Oh, he's selling like little cakes and stuff. And then boom, this is the Alta building, which is the beginning of Kabukicho upstairs. Well, we're gonna keep going and we're gonna show you a pretty freaking awesome place. At least I think it's down this way. <coughs> As we'll just keep walking. This again is uh, part of the Marinucci uh, line exit. Mm -hmm. 
Now, some of you might say like, oh, well, I need to go uh, to the Cebu, uh, Cebu Shinjuku line. You can exit the station, walk outside, but you can also go this way. And uh, we're going to go over the Cebu Ikebukuro, I mean Cebu Shinjuku line, which is in the heart or the outskirts of uh, Kabukicho. This will take you to Shinjuku Avenue. Again, you can see all the long exit ways going into different buildings and things like that. More exits. Everywhere there is exits along here as we are uh, walking along this way here. But be sure to read all your signs. Uh, what night are you not drunk, Jason? <laughs> Isn't this crazy down here? See, and it just keeps going and going and going and going. So I'm just gonna walk down here a little bit because we gotta go back and turn left. To Connor, how are you? City within a city. It is, it really, really is. You got the Takano uh, building over here where again, you're gonna have department store treats and so on and so forth. Can you GPS your way through there? I don't know, that's a good question. I, I think it'd be too confusing for the, even the GPS to walk, be walking through here. Look at this. All the underground amazing uh, places here. Actually, I wanna check this out, trying to cross through all these people here. It gets busy. I've never been down here. Look at all the different lunches you can have. Ah, oh, Indian food. Right here. See a good find to come across? Always looking for a good Indian restaurant. Um, these are the elevators that go up, obviously, into the department store. You got a Sweets Delica uh, Bonna store. And don't even know what that is. But. Yeah. Oh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this is cool. Nice little... Uh, oh, my God. I am so hot and humid today. Creepy. But uh, little displays for all the stores. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Eggs and custard, baby. So again, this hallway will just keep going and going um, into the Isatan. This is going over to Shinjuku, Sanchobe, Nichome, so on and so forth. But I want to take you into this area over here, the Sabnade uh, area, because a lot of people don't know uh, this place here. And that is uh, down in this area in here. I was always looking for this tunnel area um, down here, and I found it about a month ago. <laughs> I was amazed at uh, everything that was going on down here. So, always take escalators. See, look at look how wet my t-shirt is, guys. My t-shirt is so wet. The humidity is crazy, even though we're inside. It's okay, DeConnor, no worries. I'm glad you're here. So this is a whole new world down here. This is the, uh, as you can see there, the name of it, I call it the Subnade. And uh, again, more underground shopping. As uh, I'll just kind of walk slowly and uh, give you an idea of what it is. I want to take you to one store though. Absolutely insane. Now this place is aircon down here. I can feel the aircon, thank God. Oh, look at how horrible some of these designs are. <laughs> oh, little Cinderella shoes there. Not sure exactly what is open down here. 
Hey Forsyth, how are you? Wow, this place looks great from Ramsey Silent. Oh, a little Crayon Shinchan store here. Yeah. A little character shop here. A little Crayon Shinchan socks. Crayon Shinchan's a cool dude, man. Pretty cool. Mm. Dashing Diva, New York. Hmm, don't need that place. Nail salon, of course. Jewelry stores. There are food stores, I believe, down here, because I have seen them. I've been in one, I'm gonna take you there. I just hope I can find it. Now, there are a few hallways down here. Um, again, we are out of Shinjuku Station, but we're still connected to it through all these underground tunnels. And you can see why, there's like literally three kilometers or more of underground tunnels uh, in this area. It's absolutely insane, ladies and gentlemen. It's absolutely insane. Huh. Did you wear those yellow boots right there? Those are funky. A little hidden uh, cafe over here, Cafe de Cree. Right in there, they, they fit everything everywhere. And if you don't know these places, you will find it if you start exploring down in this area here, which is absolutely insane, people. All right, so, I gotta show you this. El Sonado Rake, 72 likes at one hour. Man, I hope we can get to like, a billion likes at one hour <laughs> so I'm not gonna go up here but again you got a short little hallway right here um, different stores cosmetic stores I can see uh, a lot of women's stores here and I can see Rafine massage place at the end there as I come along here some nice little fashion stores for ladies I guess it's gonna show you some more. You got a Daiso. Oh, let's go down here. Oh no, I'll just zoom. We got a lot more to show you. You got the Daiso right at the end there. And a few clothing stores, so on and so forth. I just don't wanna show you guys what I'm, what I'm seeing. So the camera's going down. I'm gonna zoom in right to the floor because as I, as, I, as I pan up here we got so much more to show you all the way down in this area again there's so much to see and do down here it's absolutely insane people are those plants on the ceiling real? no they are not um, what are you talking about at this level? I'm not sure. Uh, but he said there was AC down here. Yes, there is. Uh, six foot, 235 pounds, nothing in Japan fits. I bought a hat. Yeah, pretty much the same as me, Killer Hardtop. Hey, Sandra Butler, how are you? Again, eyeglass stores down here. You got Oslo Coffee. You guys have seen me go to an Oslo Coffee. Uh, I forget where in Tokyo, but I did. We got the, this is the Hokkaido Dunk, uh, Dosanko Plaza. They have one in Ginza, Yurakcho area. Um, they have one in Ikebukuro. This is sometimes where I shop for, uh, if I'm doing a Hokkaido theme, uh, gift box for uh, our Patreon members. You can see again, all these hallways go all the way down. It's absolutely insane. Another massage place there, Rafine. <laughs> this is the store I wanted to show you guys. This is Jupiter. Uh, very rare do you find Jupiter stores. Um, they have a lot of pretty great products. Uh, for sometimes there's stuff I might be missing from home, but you'll get different chocolates and cookies and wafers and um, 
I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the long chips, the al sabor nachos. They do have coffee. Coffee. And of course, they have all kinds of uh, different um, ethnic foods, international foods, you know, so on and so forth. Now, I'm going to go over to the other side. Of course, they have Rakuten, which is a cell phone company. Uh, <clears throat> of course, one of the, I think the world's biggest online shopping, or is it Alibaba? I'm not sure. Um, but you have another hallway on this side. It is a long hallway, Mom. Again, we were walking all the way down here. And uh, yeah, it's just crazy ass. I didn't walk down this one last time because I saw the Jupiter, but let's take explore down in this way. And this is actually taking us to the Seibu Shinjuku station. So it's all connected as you can see. Again, more different, uh, this is Watts, it looks like, a 100 yen shop, all kinds of things uh, combined. Still pretty cool. Travel, god awful clothing stores. Not everything is open. It is Obon and it is a Sunday here in Japan. So I can understand that not everything's going to be open. But you know what? It's raining out. You can make your way to all the different subways, all the different stations from Nishi Shinjuku uh, or Shinjuku Nishiguchi to, to uh, Seibu to the different train lines and experience everything. You know, like I said, it's its own tourist destination. This is the world's biggest and busiest train station, and hopefully you can see why now. Washroom break. Again, the other hallway, but I'm going to continue on down this hallway because I never explored this hallway before. Looks like we've got a bit of a food area here. You could live down here, Ram. <laughs> Again, another uh, onigiri uh, store. Personally, I don't know if I like the onigiri. Hey, they got detour down here. Another uh, pasta coffee shop kind of across the way there. So this looks like the food kind of area here. I don't mind detour coffee. I don't like their food though. But I do, I gotta say, I do love these old style cafes. And look at all the amu rice, the uh, omelet rice with the different sauces and different things like that. A staple in Japan, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Jim and Harriet, how are you? So again, it's super amazing. Oh, come on, really? Hamburger and steak? Hamburger and steak restaurant. Look at this. Oh, that's right. I remember this. The restaurant's called Bambi. <laughs> We're going to eat Bambi today, ladies and gentlemen. Eat Bambi. But again, the hot plate uh, style meals, steaks, different sides. Sirloin beef steak. Yum. Yum! As I turn around, another like Japanese style uh, restaurant across the street or across the way. Udon or soba and uh, katsudon kind of style places. It's amazing. It really is. This here, ladies and gentlemen, is my absolute favorite restaurant in the world. This is Tonkatsu's Wako. A <laughs> very reasonably priced, but higher end style, as you can see, kind of uh, tonkatsu or fried pork cutlet. Love it. You get uh, as much free cabbage as you want and free rice when you order. Hopefully they got a, a food area I can show you. Oh God, they got gashapon. I didn't even see that. They have an amazing gashapon. Well, you need a bed, Ramsey Silent. <laughs> I hope you guys have smashed that like button. We've hit 100 people in the chat. Thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. You are going to find uh, 
vending machines, different cafes. Like, I'm going to go check that out in a second here, but I'm amazed at this gas chapon. I don't really want to go in there because I'll start spending money. This looks amazing. It looks spicy. And rightfully so. It's kind of funny that they have the chairs numbered one to six for people waiting. Oh, they got the North Face chairs. Look how spicy this ramen looks though. Oh my God. This is a foodie. Order from the vending machine. Oh my goodness, they got, they got ice cream. They got a Fang ice cream place. Look at this though. They call this the, the Yuzu Kara Kurunai Ramen Spicy at 1173 yen. You guys can see the different uh, ramens. They have from zero to eight, fiery spicy. I almost wanna throw out a challenge to the community to make me come here. But let's get out of here real quick. 31 flavors. We call it 31 here in Japan. It is, of course, Baskin Robbins. They got the little Pikachu Pokemon thing. Of course, the World Pokemon Championships is in Yokohama uh, from August 8th until the 14th, Monday, which is tomorrow. So you'll see a lot of Pokemon uh, promotions going on, but tell me that ice cream doesn't look good, eh? Pikachu and Nya Hoja Pachi Pachi Ice. <laughs> That's what it freaking says right there. If I had to pronounce everything, that'd be crazy. Uh, upstairs, John McKee, there's a lot of capsule hotels. It's a whole new world upstairs, too. Bet there's a big aftermarket for seasonal one-time only gotchas. Could be. Michael Todd, I cannot go to Gashapon. No, it's addicting. If you get into it, I've never been into it. So, all right, we're coming out to uh, the end of uh, the area. And again, more bank machines. I just want to check out what this is. Oh, it looks like a massage. 10 minutes, 1100 yen. Should be a little bit cheaper than that, but. See, they got like 10 minutes, 20 minutes. There is no discount. 20 minutes, 2200 yen. 20 minutes, 20. Like if you're going to do 10 minutes for 1100 yen, maybe 20 minutes for be 2000 yen. Give two bucks off, right? But yeah, vending, uh, vending machines, ATMs just stick out like a sore thumb. And then this is coming into uh, the Cebu area. You got the Sinjuku Prince Hotel off to the left and oh my God, the humidity just smacked me in the head, people. Oof. Again, reading the lines, you got the Cebu line, Kabuki Cho. And for the last, I don't know how long now, hour and 15 minutes, we have never left the underground tunnels. Uh, of course, we haven't explored every tunnel because a lot, of the, a lot of some of the tunnels just lead to office buildings and stuff, but I've shown you pretty much in this video, every, uh, I don't know, shoppable, edible, walkable tourist kind of area that you can be, because I knew I was gonna finish up uh, the underground in this area here. I hope there's an escalator because I can see one. Team Medical Labs, I have no idea what that's for. <coughs> and this is taking you straight up to Cebu Shinjuku Station, ladies and gentlemen. How awesome. Well, happy birthday, Sandro. <laughs> happy birthday to you soon, Sandra Butler. Happy birthday to you soon, Sandra Butler. Happy birthday. Dear Sandra Butler. I'll try to sing on your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Let's get some purple hearts in the chat if you're part of the Emoji Club for Sandra Butler, ladies and gentlemen. So we're coming up this way here, and boom, we are on to the uh, outside of uh, the street area, but we're gonna go up this escalator here. And again, that is Kabukicho right over there, ladies and gentlemen. 
and it's not raining again it, it has uh, decreased decreased the cloudiness of the beautiness of the neediness of the typhoon that's coming in the next couple of days this here is of course Shinjuku station uh, Cebu Shinjuku station They do have a Starbucks in here. They got the Pepe, they got the Soup Stock Tokyo, so on and so forth. And yeah, there's not many uh, train lines here. There's only, uh, what is it, four platforms or three platforms, I think. But again, this will take you up into the northwest kind of area of uh, Tokyo. The mass amount of people are coming. They do have a limited express. This will take you also up into the Kaogoe area of Saitama. So you got to be careful on which train you are getting. And uh, yeah, let's head back out this way now. And we'll take you outside and give you a, kind of an idea of where we are in relation to Shinjuku Station. Whew, and the humidity is horrible. I'm going to head a... I'm just clearing my cache to refresh my stream here. And we got 102 people, we got 83 likes, so thank you so much for that. Let's hit that 100. Oh, they got sweet potatoes here. This is a sweet potato store, ladies and gentlemen. They got sweet potato pie, sweet potato donuts, sweet potato something, sweet potato matcha something, puddings. My God. If you like sweet potato, that's a store for you. Again, you have your ticket gates. Oh, I hate those squeaky shoes. And there's still all kinds of stuff to do in this area. <laughs> but we're going to go out to the uh, street in a second here. A little convenience store. What is that store? Oh, this is Tom Tomoni. You don't see many of these around. Beard Papa. Of course, shoe cream and different things like that. So that's pretty cool. And now this will take you to the outside area. You still have other stuff. Oh, I see a Krispy Kreme donut. I'm going to have to get Krispy Kreme donuts. That's it. There goes the diet. Okay, what diet? No, there's never been a diet. Sagafredo, off to the right-hand side here. They got the Japanese craft beers. Good little uh, place, the coffee place too. You can, uh, coffee, beer, good little place to relax. Little flower store, kiosk places. And we are now coming into the outside area. Nick was here. How are you, Sandra? Thank you all for joining. I hope you guys can smash that like button. And uh, yeah, here is uh, the start of Kabukicho area. Remember I was showing you guys that west building way back at the beginning of this video? Shinjuku Station, ladies and gentlemen is literally way the hell back up there. We've walked under all this underground along the way here. Absolutely insane. Maybe I can get a bit better. This is Bayou Otaku's uh, smoking area that he was talking about. We'll have a quick butt here. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna try and show you guys where Shinjuku Station is, but it might be a bit difficult, but basically Shinjuku Station is literally like right there but that's just the east side we were on the west side um, so it gets all uh, crazy ass of course bear with me one second I need to have a smoke and a drink real quickly um, and then we're gonna go over to the west side I gotta check uh, money exchange again um, I guess some of you know already that I am going to San Francisco uh, in October so I got to go check out the rates. Uh, unfortunately, when I was in Vegas last time, I didn't win any money. But uh, got to go check out the rates. I know it's gonna be, it's gonna rip me, rip my ass apart uh, tra um, exchanging Japanese to American money. I hate how the Bank of Japan right now is. Uh, 
not putting in place certain things to uh, have the yen get better or whatever. I'm not gonna get into the politics of it, it just it sucks. But if I can come home with more money than I went there with and exchange it, then, then I'm happy. So there you go. Uh, I'm trying to read the chat here. Give you guys a look at Kabuki Cho in a way. Now it will be raining. That's the uh, Alpen Tokyo. We actually passed by there in the underground earlier, which is pretty cool. I'm just reading your comments here, trying to anyways. Okay, you're welcome, Nick, uh, Nick uh, was here. Glad that you are enjoying it. I'm literally sweating my ass off. I'm not gonna uh, walk through there. Like, I don't know why everybody walks there when you can walk here <coughs> with less people. You will see homeless, of course. Look at these Shinjuku photo memories. I should have shown you guys this before. We'll come back to the first one here. That doesn't look that bad. That was 1968, 1976, 1960, 1976. These are all places in Shinjuku, I guess. Pretty cool. Wow. 1950s, love that trolley car there. That's pretty cool. I wish I could make that into a postcard. I'll just go by real quickly. 1964, 1950. All right, I've had enough. Whoa, no, I'm not riding that. Huh? That's pretty cool though, I gotta say. One forty four point nine yen per USD. Well we're gonna go see what they sell it for though. So yeah, you got a lot of photo memories down here that I guess you could check out. I don't think I'll make the light, but I could try. No, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to bother trying to run. And now this is, of course, the uh, west side of Shinjuku. Again, you could go down into the subway there. That's the Oedo line. We were there like half an hour ago or something. All this is all underground. It's absolutely crazy ass. Uh, that one tunnel I was talking to you guys about from the west side goes all the way down. And it literally goes way past that building over there. So probably another kilometer worth of uh, walking around tunnels and different things like that. I just saw this off the back of my peripheral vision here. That looks pretty cool. You'd ride that? Vegan Showa. Don't run, I can't take the heat. <laughs> David. That's pretty cool though. I like that. You don't see much graffiti. Oh, vending machine. Okay. I need to get something to drink again. It's vending machine time, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I need something cold. Picnic water. Okay, we can have a picnic and have some water, ladies and gentlemen. I'm looking for uh, a peach drink, but I can't find it. So I guess it's picnic water, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Picnic water, that's just weird. Picnic water, natural mineral water. Ah, all right, I gotta make the light this time. Don't wanna get caught. So again, I'm coming over into the area on the west side here where all the money exchange places are. There are a lot of places. Don't change your money at the airport. I've told you that before.
come check out these places. Um, they have some reasonable rates. Unfortunately, uh, the yen is uh, like somebody just said, uh, oh, it's not a break, I think, 144. I'm getting ripped up the ass, man. Kind of sucks, but not much you can do. You know, it's a great time to visit Japan for Americans with your dollar going a long, long way. I'm just gonna have some, uh, usually I change my money at the second yellow sign here. They don't have any commission fees and things like that, but, and of course we have been here before. Ah, oh. so I'm just having some water in the background here. All right, let's go check out some of the rates here. So they're selling at 144.40. Oh my goodness. Oh, what are the rates here? What? Right. One forty one? Oh, that's the end. One forty five ninety six. So I'm not pointing the camera because these guys are looking right at me. So it looks around 144 or so to buy some uh, American dollars. I just wish there was a way I could use, transfer my American money, but Japanese PayPal doesn't let me uh, use anything. Of course, along here you do have cocoa curries and all kinds of different things. Daikan Yama is another place you could change your money. Well, sometimes they have good rates, sometimes bad rates. You never know. A lot of them will say no cameras. They don't want to be uh, advertising their uh, buy rate or sell rate. 145 I see. So yeah, it's bad guys right now. Not a good time to go visit America if you're, oh KFC. I haven't had KFC in ages. <coughs> Best I've seen so far is 144. I see 144.40, no commission. What would a thousand, guys, figure it out for me. A thousand dollars or 100,000 Japanese yen would be how much uh, American at 144.40. Figure that out, let me know in the chat. This is the place I always love showing you guys. That's real money sitting in that freaking window, people. Patreon uh, converts, oh, no, I get paid in uh, American dollars uh, for Patreon, but uh, when, I, when, I, when I take it out of, because uh, it gets put into PayPal, and then from PayPal it gets put into uh, my Japanese bank account, converting it into yen. So I wish I could just take it out of PayPal, but there's no way with the, the way Japanese pay, uh, Japan's PayPal system is, you don't have any uh, debit cards or anything to use, no Visa cards know nothing green is my favorite color today and again you can see the KO line over there this is all Shinjuku station here now again as we're walking back uh, into the area here oh I just saw 143.98 yen to American dollars So yen to American, I see 143.98. So Jeremy says I'm gonna get about 694.44. So I basically lose $300 per thousand changing over. I know it, it doesn't make sense I'm saying I'm losing money, but it really sucks. This is a great view of the train track area. Of course, Omoide Cho, uh, Yokocho is right here, you know, the, the famous uh, place we've walked through before. But again, I love this area right here. Off to the right there, you can see the Lumine area of uh, Shinjuku Station, and Kabuki Cho starts right over there. And we're just going to go under the underground here. We're going to finish up right back where we first started, ladies and gentlemen.
again, if you're walking from the west side to the east side or vice versa, this tunnel is very handy. Thank you, Fang. That is a very terrible exchange rate. So again, you know, for me as a creator, when I, when I, uh, I make American dollars and they transfer into Japanese yen, that's great. But <clears throat> going the other way, because if I go to America, I'm losing money and it sucks so bad, guys. So, you know, look at a big money. You know, 500,000 yen, or $5,000 in a way, would only give me about 3,500 American. That sucks. It's like I'm losing, I feel like I'm losing $1,500. So we're coming to a, a map here. Um, this map here, of course, is the Shinjuku Station area. We are right here. Uh, we kind of started in this area here. This is all the KO line where we were earlier. We've gone through here, all in this area, like all the way up. You have the Uedo Shinjuku Nishiguchi Station. This is the Cebu Shinjuku Station way up here. You can see, we have basically, if I come into this map here, all of this is underground tunnels everywhere. It's absolutely crazy. And hopefully this uh, video will help you uh, navigate. I've come out uh, to another smoking area, and this is the east side, where of course we have the start of Kabukicho. And we've all uh, been to Kabukicho in the past. And uh, maybe we can catch a glimpse of the 3D cat. This is where the 3D cat thing is always. So let's see if uh, they got something going on up here. We'll wait for a minute. I can see the cat behind. Not sure if it's a good... Uh, there he is. See if we can zoom in one more time. <laughs> and there you go. All right, we're going to head over to uh, the east exit area here. <laughs> now, if you were with me since the beginning, we're actually going to be going in one of the exits. Or one of the entrances, the exits that I pointed out at the beginning of this video, and that is right here. This is the uh, Shinjuku Station East uh, entrance into the underground. And uh, yeah, there's that uh, food pocket place right over there where I showed you earlier. And uh, into the JR, the air con of what it is. You got the Lumine department stores, you know, so on and so forth along here. A lot of stuff is open. Now, again, there are still more tunnels uh, to explore, but it does end up, well, let's just take you down there real quickly. Just to show you some more, uh, Always coffee, always great to uh, sit down, have a coffee. And if I kept walking, this would actually take me to the South Concourse area, but I don't want to go there. But this will take you into, uh, you know, the HMV and books area off to the left. You got the the, uh, the butter sand, and again, more hallways going around that way. So. It is quite confusing. Is that cat talking? Yes, it was. So go to Canada, 107 yen per dollar. Yes, I wish I could go to Canada. My wife just thinks Canada is too cold. <laughs> I 
Is Tully's the best out of the chat? I don't think so. I, I have a hard time to tell you guys which one would be the best coffee shop. Because <laughs> personally, I don't think people make enough coffee uh, strong enough for me. So that's why uh, I'll just go to a Starbucks because at least the burnt taste of Starbucks will give you that uh, strong kind of style taste. So, And now we've made our way back to where we started, ladies and gentlemen, which is the east area of uh, Shinjuku uh, Station. Again, there's the hallway there. And, whoa. Damn. You can see the hallway here. Sorry I got thrown off by the girl in the white, in the white dress. This is the east and west central exits. And uh, yeah, we'll just come over here to the Gashapon machines area here. And we have a ledge right here. Hopefully I'm not too bothering too many people. But uh, yeah, that is, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the, um, I guess, the underground tunnels of Shinjuku Station. I hope that, uh, you know, with all the connecting train lines, no idea what happened. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, I'm going to have to hold it. Um, hopefully, ho what the hell? Sorry guys, I have no idea what's going on with my gimbal here. I'm trying to, I don't have a, a, a good ledge to put it on. Not working, not working. So um, yeah, hopefully this will give you an idea of how to connect to different train lines here. Uh, all the different underground tunnels, all the shopping, the city within a train station, I guess you could say. So thank you everybody for uh, joining today. Um, Typhoon's coming. I don't know if I'll be live streaming tomorrow, maybe from home, which would be kind of weird. <coughs> but we are going to be live streaming tomorrow. Maybe we'll go walk out in a typhoon. I have no idea. Uh, thank you. Um, nice uh, Iowa Hawkeye shirt. Yes, Jeremy actually in the chat gave it to me, Midwest. Um, thank you to my moderators that were here today. Thank you for the super chats, uh, the gifting of the Emoji Club, my Patreon members, my moderators, uh, the community as a whole. Thank you so much. I just really hope that one day we can get to 10,000 subscribers but most of all I really hope that this video uh, helped any of you coming to visit uh, Shinjuku station um, I'll put some reference points um, post edit but in the meantime please check out these two videos here the patreon link is here if you want to become part of the TD crew asylum family help support me on patreon today and check out my new channel travelations keep it real keep it real stay yourself because I always do have a great day, everybody. Thank you so much for being the best community on YouTube.